Hey everyone, this is Pirate22, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Return of the Dark Sorcerer. In that last episode, we uh, made some more progress, and we actually found ourselves just more recently here at the uh, ancient castle underneath uh, Durandal Castle, and we just uh, met up with uh, Fasoya, who has now actually went back to our airship at this point, seeing as we already had a full party. Now, at this point, we still have a couple things to kind of uh, explore in this castle, so don't go ahead, don't just teleport out. You're going to want to go ahead and explore this place first, because you can probably find some, uh, not probably, you will find some very valuable stuff here. So don't go leaving just yet. First is a Celeste Triad. A very, very handy relic indeed. As you can see right here, Highly sought after by wizards. Cuts MP cost of spells by 75%. Now the Silas Triad in the original game, I believe it actually reduced your MP use to 1 for any spell. So it can be obviously very handy, but it's, this is uh, still very good. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still very handy to have, and I suppose it was to get put this way for uh, obviously because uh, always one MP cost for all the spells can be kind of a uh, game breaking but as you can see cures cost one he's actually almost on Kiraga which is really nice but look at Meteor it only cost 28 it was only the, normally 112 so that's a lot better all right let's continue exploring the rest of this castle And no, don't worry viewers, I realized that in the last episode and a couple of episodes prior and kind of as I go throughout the area, there are a lot of bosses I'm either not fighting or failing against at this point. So I will go ahead and get each and every one of them at some point viewers, I promise you that. Very nice. Some nice stuff was learnt there. So she has finished Tritok. What to give her next? Probably have her little meteor because that'd be pretty good to have. Finally, over halfway for those spells. You're exactly half of those two. And getting so close there, Golbez. And Echo would flood on her own, which is very nice. You can go on the little hidden door here. Well, not so hidden, but... Mimic box. Well, it shouldn't be too hard, but you never know. I'm, I'm, sometimes I rush into conclusions. Okay, that was easy. Got a might tab in that treasure chest. I'll take it. We're in a throne room. What can we find in here? There's an Esper Shard. I wonder what that is. Freezing dust. Oh, crap. Might have to be Golbez. But luckily he's good after the fight anyway, so... No harm, no foul. Well, it was a little harm, but... Received the Magicite Odin. So Odin was down here. Fusoya was right. Quickly slices, slices enemies in half. And you can finally learn Holy. 
very nice and otherwise known as Pearl in the original Final Fantasy 3 translation with uh, good old Nintendo of America and their censorship so but yeah it's uh, quite the handy spell to have especially against an industry a week two and there are quite a few actually and this is one for first well obviously the first spell that actually has a, yeah, that element I know Ronin has that one uh, combo that actually has a Foley effect and I do believe that one of the weapons that Lunar Rod that Ico has right now, I do believe it sometimes casts Holy. So, got a couple options for Holy. It'll be kind of weird though, because I'm actually thinking of putting it on uh, Golbez after he's done this one. And that could be kind of a uh, funny <laughs> Golbez learning Holy. A little bit of uh, ironic there, I think. There's a room over here. Let's check it out. The sweeper, new enemy. Ouch. Nice. I'll take that damage any day of the week. Probably Golba's on Kiraga. It's too bad it's again just a uh, times once, so it's going to be a while. Of course, I could just fight enemies down here, and that wouldn't take too long to build everything up. It's actually quite possible, viewers, that between episodes at some point, I will actually do that. To fill up my spells list and all that. Is there anything in this room? One point twenty one gigawatts. Nice reference there. Yeah, if she's gonna be attacking, they have them in the front row. I don't think anything is actually in this room. Could be wrong, but it doesn't look like it. Nope. You're so dead. There's a couple more things to do here. I think we can go up in here. There's two treasures. Let's save, just in case. A Gungnir. And a Stamina Tab. I think that's a Lance. Or a Spear. Something like that. Yep, it's a Lance. Legendary Spear wielded by Odin. So Saren, Otis, Mog, and Ark can equip it. It's pretty nice. Got pretty darn good attack power. No one can equip it in my party right now. Perfect. Yep, there's a holy spell. So that thing just counters any attack. I believe it hit his own party. I'm 
very nice. Nice spells to have there, Avalon. What should I give you next? Try talk, perhaps? Have to learn big three? Yeah. All right, now there is one trick here. I'll show you after the fight. All right, I'm back here. It's after the fight, Avalon gained narrow level, so he's got a lot of HP there. Now, there was a little secret in this particular room. I believe it's here. Yes, from the throne. Take six steps forward, six steps left, and then three steps down. Okay. So from the throne. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three. Yep, you see, and then hit the confirm button, and you'll see the screen shake a bit. You go to the right, you can actually find a hidden room. We found a war room. What do we find here? A book with a gem. With a book with a gem encrusted cover. The Queen's Diary. I realize now that I'm in love with Odin. This breaks every rule of our society. But my heart longs for this noble, elegant man. Could, how could anyone blame me? If this bloody war shall ever end, I'll bear my soul to him. love between a human and an esper yep so that can actually can happen and we inspect the uh, blades in the wall we find a kusanagi I don't recall finding that in the original movie I did I just can't remember anyway I do believe that's actually a weapon for uh, Avalon should you actually choose to ever attack with him causes much bloodshed in battle randomly slices four and a half Wow. Alright, that's darn good. Even that's worth attacking from that from the uh, back row. Because if you get that to span to, to trigger. Alright, we found the basement here. What's in here? We found the statue of something here. Of the queen. The queen was turned to stone. Nothing happens. I, I always wonder what actually happened here, or what you're actually supposed to do, because in the original game, it just triggered when you inspected the queen or whatever at that point. Now, I was informed in my original playthrough of this game, through one of, my, one of the commenters originally, that in order to uh, trigger the next part of the sequence here, you actually have to be on your airship and there is a, a boss flying around goes by the name of Garuda and he's the one that kind of randomly appears whenever you're flying around the airship for so long and you can attack him and then he'll run away after taking so much damage or time or whatever happens once you beat him you can actually come down here and then inspect the statue and then I think at that point something will actually will trigger with the Odin Esper and not before so that's what basically happens here now that we've actually gone ahead and done almost everything in this area we can actually go ahead and leave and when I say almost everything there is the uh, super boss right before entering this castle that one uh, water dragon that Questos which I'm not going to beat at this present time to save the from seeing the fight there again viewers because you already seen it before yep so at this point yeah for the moment anyway we finished the castle now I don't think we can actually teleport out of here yeah I don't think that's gonna work nope you have to actually walk your way out which is actually not a bad thing in this area because the enemies give you good experience and good magic points All right, and back viewers. And at this point, after that particular fight, I actually went ahead and fought one more. 
And at that point, I go finally, and I mean finally, finished off Medine. So now Ico knows Quake and Gravity, which is, well, it can be handy in occasions. So let's see what else we can give her now. Because she still hasn't learned a lot of the basic spells. So how about we just start from the beginning? Spiky Tiger. Now at this point, viewers, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is, I'm actually going to go ahead and just walk out of here. I'm going to find out the battles. Seeing as you've kind of seen most of the battles, I'm just going to kind of off-screen everything until I'm back in the, during the castle. If anything happens between now and then, like any new spells or any particular abilities, I will come right back and show them to you, viewers. But until then, I will meet you back at the castle. Hey, viewers. Um, probably 22 here again. I um, made a slight boo-boo, but nothing really too extreme. I uh, went to go unpause my last video, and uh, instead of unpausing it, I actually uh, stopped the recording. Luckily, I caught myself right in time, so nothing really was lost in that sense. So, yeah, I might even just go ahead and see if I can combine the videos into one. We'll see what actually happens here. I'm not quite too sure if I'll combine them into one, or I'll actually just go ahead and uh, put two separate uploads back to back. I'm not sure yet, viewers. I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway, I spent about 10-15 minutes of real life time uh, just kind of spell grinding down there. And got some levels, as you can see, as well. As uh, Avalon is uh, 46 now, Golbez is 44, he broke 4,000 HP. Aurora and Ico are almost over 40, Aurora's got over 3,000, Ico's almost there. And as you can see, some spells were definitely learnt at this point. There's Ico's spell list. There's Aurora's. She got the level 3 spells learnt, and she is on her way for learning Arc with Hastiga and Sloga. Golbez has everything learnt, except the uh, Vortex, which you just learned to learn now through Fenrir. So yeah, he's definitely a leg up on everyone else, in terms of spell options. And there's Avalon, he's kind of working his way on Soul Calibur to learn Kiraga. So there's that. So yeah, we're actually doing pretty well overall. Now, by my count, I still had about 10 or so minutes to my timer, so I'm going to kind of continue with that. Yep, let's continue. Brings us back up here, but we don't want to go in Delzenia. We want to go back to Stardust Realist region. Let's fast forward, seeing as we've already done it. Now we can head out. Now let's go to our airship. Head below deck. Heal up. And definitely beer me. Let's also go ahead and unequip our group. Guys, we're going to go ahead and change up a little bit. Although not too much, I don't think. Here's what Fusoya says. We need to work together and fight for the harmony that comes from the planets. Change members? Yes, indeed. However, in this case, we are going to put Avalon in the back and actually not equip him with anything. Because for the next area of yours, we're going to not have Avalon available, unfortunately. Yeah, that's going to suck. Bad. Because I put so much work into Avalon, he's so awesome. Uh, well, I didn't really put so much work to give him all those golden apples. Whatever. But, yeah. That kind of sucks. So, we're going to make a need to have a good party of three viewers. So, we're going to have a sort of Golbez in. He's probably going to be our lead. Going to have Fusoya in the group as well, because he's really good for magic casting. And for the third member of our group, let's see, who are we going to put in? Someone I think that uh, can deal the damage. That could be Saren. His, uh, his Aethers can be quite handy, actually. Could put Ark in for another physical attacker. Because we've got one physical attacker and one or and two mages, really, because Gobez is actually really good at both. So let's see. Who else should we put in the third slot? 
Aiko, she's actually getting pretty up there for levels now, which is pretty good. Or we can put Aurora in, too. Or maybe Tifa, but she's kind of locking in levels right now. I think Aurora for right now. Alright, let's go ahead and equip her of one. Don't like that glacial maze. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much for uh, Avalon at this point. Yeah, so let's try and Cosmos Ring are probably two for Golbez. And for Frasilia, let's give him the Exodus token and the Void Stone. Yeah, let's go ahead and then give Aurora, let's see, let's give her the Eagle Horn. And Holy Amulet for now, or maybe not, let's give her something else. There's one particular relic that I think we need when we go down there, otherwise we're going to have a hard time against the boss. Yeah, we need something that gives a zombie. Was that the holy amulet? Yeah. Alright, let's go there now, viewers. Not going to be able to get through the entire thing tonight, but I'm going to show it off a little bit anyway. I want to go here. Let's save our game. Oh, I forgot to put the extras back on. Yeah, Persoia is pretty good too. That's why he's coming along. go now we're set yep Avalon doesn't need any relics let's go in yes we're now in the mist castle probably a couple treasures we can get in here stamina tab Dragon Ball, Soma Drop, yeah don't go in this room just yet viewers, we find a uh, Masamune, could be a really good weapon for Avalon, actually it's a bit weaker than the, than the Kusanagi. So perhaps I should have come there a bit earlier. Oh well. Still let's have a look at it. Randomly cast wind, sl wind slash. Very nice. So it's got. That's where they got moved to. Just kind of exploring the castle, see if there's anything of value that I want to forget about. 10,000 gil, I like. A quick ring. Kind of up for the up for the grabs. No one's actually blocking or guarding it, which is nice. And nothing over there is a dead end. Anything in the throne room? Nothing right now. Anything on the roof? Nope. 
Nope. Okay, let's continue with the plot then. Wrong room. <laughs> All right, now we can go in here. We step forward. Need a rest? If you select yes, we'll continue with the plot. So, if you're not ready, viewers, select no. But I am, I however, am ready. So, I think everyone's having a nice rest. Catch it up on some Z's. Ah, nice and relaxing. But then we find out Avalon's still sleeping. He won't wake up. What's going on? Who's that? Who are they? Redling kids. What? I'm Axum Blue. I'm Axum Yellow. And I'm Axum Red. We are the Axum Rangers. Actually, our gang's not at all here, but we're the strongest ones. Anyway. Hey, wait a minute. Do we even have a blue action ranger? Who cares? It works out much better for this trial mental thing we got going. You know what? I'm hungry. In fact, I'm starved. Then chew on your tongue and shut up already. Okay, guys, let's do it. We like what we do. We like what we do. We like what we do. Gotta fight for evil. Gotta fight for evil. Gotta fight for evil. Wait. Are we jump inside Avalon as well? Kind of weird. What is this place? Looks weird. Looks odd. And we wake up and we're just Aurora and we find Reaper. Don't act, like, don't act like you forgot about me. Actually, Aurora never met him before. Reaper? That's right. Avalon's soul is in danger. How'd you even get in here? I can hear... Nothing escapes death. Avalon's soul belongs to me. I will not allow anyone to step on me and take my souls. Like it or not, I'm coming with you. Admit it, you could use my help. Actually, yeah, he can actually prove very useful in this area. So we actually will end up having four party members in the group. And I like, and yeah, Reaper's actually used a bit stronger than Aurora in terms of uh, HP by far. And uh, for levels, by a couple levels there too. Now we can't directly look at his equipment, but you can look on the overall group view and see the stuff he has on. Got some pretty nice stuff actually. And his skills, he can't doesn't have any magic. But he has a spirit command which is mentioned just like his uh lore. Uh not lore but uh rage from Ga. And I like how it actually shows here. You can actually see by looking over the list in your uh menu uh skill poison bar inflicts damage over time skill death so uh, normally at this point your uh yeah there's like a he'll do like a main attack or he'll do the ability of that particular monster so in this case poison barb death charge attack frostbite mega volts and yeah you can probably get you'll find more of these when you eventually go to the uh, beast planes I haven't done any of that yet, that's why I don't have the full list. And yeah, skill flash fire and again haste status. Very nice. Drown, that could be useful. Splash and gains undead healing. A lot of good ones here actual actually the earth, to be honest. I'm gonna have to go through each all these and see which I'm gonna take advantage of. Alright viewers, let's go ahead and see if we can find our party. Let's also go ahead and save.
You'll notice I'm also using different save states because just in case I screw up, I can actually go back and uh, to a previous spot. Better leave now, chumps. And we have Fasolia back in our group, which is very nice. All door we can go through is here. And that's actually the finish, but we don't want to go there yet. New enemies. Yeah, I suppose Reaper could actually is like the main attacker at this point. Shadow Boo, yeah, that guy, that's not, that guy's annoying. Hey, don't steal my gill. could be bad but no one's level five so all good yeah that shadow boo I think it's really high of eight so that's why I'm using that that uh, force move from the Reaper a particular weakness there on the boo holy kind of self-explanatory, I suppose. Of course, no one has Holy at this point, aside from uh, Golbez, who's not in my group right now. Yeah, had that experience glitch there, eh, Reaper? We're back at the beginning. Let's go in the left door. Here's Golbez. Alright, we got a full party again, viewers. Hooray! I would go ahead and explore the rest of this area next time on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Return of the Dark Sorcerer. This is Spy22 saying thank you guys so much for watching. Any comments, please leave them in the section below. It would definitely help me a lot. And I'll see you guys next time for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.